Hey, welcome to day 122. Got a question from a ground school member that just came in, and this was uh, Brian, who's one of our ground school members. He was in day 82 with us. And his question is, hey, Kenny, going through emergency procedures, videos in the R44 course. You mentioned in part in one of the video about a pilot who lost control of his aircraft by not putting in aft cyclic upon entry into an auto rotation from a high speed. Why is this important? Should it be done before lowering the collective? What happens to the aircraft as a result, okay? Anytime you start a maneuver like an auto rotation or you start your descent and your approach, it's simultaneous, down collective, right pedal, aft cyclic in a counterclockwise system. Okay, so this question he's referring to is an accident I'm familiar with, and it was an EMS company actually that um, this accident happened in, and I know that they actually put some of the blame back on the company for not training their pilots to add aft cyclic at high speeds. So I remember it vivid vividly, and anytime you enter auto rotation, you need just that small aft cyclic pull, okay? So you enter it, and again, simultaneous as you're lowering the collective, a little bit of aft cyclic. We do that in training. When we're training to a standard, you know, people always say, well, but in the real world, well, you should train also in the real world. So we train to a standard when we're going out and doing check ride prep, we have to train to a standard. Yes, you should go out with your instructor and practice some engine failures at cruise speed, at what you will really be flying at, in scenarios that could be real world, but we have to have a standard for training. So what happens to the helicopter if you don't put that aft cyclic in when the engine failure happens or the auto rotation happens? If you don't give just a small aft cyclic pull, the nose drops and the RPM starts to decrease, okay? So if you're just doing a practice auto rotation, you enter it, you don't add the aft, then your nose goes down, RPM drops, and you start monkeying with controls, and then you'll monkey all the way down. You'll be seesawing with the cyclic. Back and forth, back and forth. Very common in auto rotation practice. You know, you don't put the aft in, nose goes low, RPM goes down, and then pretty soon you're chasing the airspeed all the way down. During a practice auto rotation, I'm telling you, if you nail the speed, everything will come out nice. And what I teach, if we're gonna use, let's say, 60 for the auto rotation glide. I teach to enter about 62, 63, 65, somewhere in there. So when you enter, you go down collective right pedal, gentle aft cyclic to I, what I say, set your speed. That keeps the RPM, nose doesn't drop, and you can work on a nice glide all the way down. So that answers that question. That is why you want aft cyclic in training, in training for auto rotations, in the real world, if it happens to you, you need a little small aft cyclic pull, not a big one, but aft cyclic. So I'm gonna get rolling because day number two of our first week here, Heather's on her way in. Oh my God, we've got so much stuff to do, but we've made amazing progress. Tuesday of last week, we were at our past airport till 2 a.m. hauling stuff over here. And in one week, we're set up. Our internet got put on yesterday. Our network is up. Heather has done an amazing job organizing stuff. Oh my God. So we're set up. Now we're gonna do some more additions. We're gonna mess with some lightings. And I got um, those studio walls I'm gonna go look at this week and get the Hogs Wall of Fame back up. So many cool things happening. This is so exciting. I'm so flipping grateful. It's amazing. Do me a favor and give me a thumbs up on the video and comment down below. The video from yesterday, nobody commented. Not even one. First coffee with Kenny in 121 days that nobody commented. Kind of a bummer. So give me a do me a favor and give me some comments today. I mentioned yesterday, Taz and I are working on a date for a book signing in Las Vegas. And we chose Las Vegas because it's cheap to get to from almost anywhere. Everybody needs a good reason to go to Vegas, right? So stay tuned for an announcement on what date we're gonna be doing that in Las Vegas. We'll make sure and let y'all know in plenty of time. So if you wanna get a cheap ticket and come visit with us for a book signing, it's top 10 check ride tips, Amazon number one bestseller. 
Taz Christman co-authored it with me, 2018 Flight Instructor of the Year, super friend, super pilot, amazing man, and uh, all around just a nice guy. So that's going to be fun doing a book signing with Taz in Vegas. That is going to be an absolute blast. So like and subscribe. When you subscribe, click that bell so you'll be notified of our daily video. Each day you get about a half an hour notice of when the video is going to go live. And there's Heather over there being quiet in the background. Hey! All right. We're going to wrap this dude up so we can see you tomorrow in day 123. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell, and we will see you tomorrow. Hell yeah. No, I just sent somebody looking. I sent someone looking over my shoulder and I, I peeked that way and I thought, what's there's something moving over there. I didn't even hear you come in.